So this is how far I've gotten so far. Um, eventually, this copper pipe will fit down into a hole right here. Um, I started with a hole saw, but I didn't have a metal one, just a wood one. Started to cut, didn't get very far in. So I just I gave that up and went ahead and got a drill bit, drill press, went around, punched holes. They're going down about halfway through this block of aluminum. And I'm going to take a Dremel and just kind of go around and, and cut out the rest of this. And we'll see how that goes. All right, so ground this out fairly deep. I want to get deeper, but I need to get another bit because uh, the one I had got chewed up. There was a piece of a uh, drill bit that got stuck down in uh, this hole right here. So it chewed the hell out of my uh, cutting blade. But anyway, um, copper pipe fits down on here. It's nice and snug, which is good. And uh, next step will be, like I said, I want to clear this out more, get a little deeper, so I have to get another bit. And then I'm going to solder this in place. So that'll be next step. Okay, so I've got the uh, hole cut out as deep as I want it to go. It's about a little under halfway down into the, into the block here. And uh, so... Now this is going to just fit down over top of that, all the way down to the bottom there. So in order to get the solder down in there, I tried using a propane torch and it just didn't get hot enough. The aluminum block just sucked all the heat right up out of it. So what I did was... Um, I got a little fire going in a charcoal grill, just set this down on in there, and then once it uh, once it got hot enough, the solder just flowed right into it, and uh, did a pretty good job, it was a pretty, pretty solid joint, I don't, I don't think you could hang from it or anything, but it certainly supports the copper pipe just fine. Uh, and then, uh, so what I did was... I got my heat sink and my Peltier down in there and I use zip ties to hold it in place. Eventually I'll have to get some kind of bracket if this, if this assembly actually works. Uh, so the next step is to wire this up and uh, see if it does what I'm hoping it does. Right, so this is a double stack power supply. Um, one by itself is 12 volts. Together I've got stages, there's like a 12 volt and then a 19 and a 32 volt and they're um, adjustable so you can go from 12 volts up to um, on the bottom it goes from 12 up to 26 volts and on the top here it's 19 up to 32 um, I have it set right now we're just running 12 volts off of the bottom and um, so we've got the Peltier hooked up um, and, and you'll notice I've actually got the positive running into the neutral and the negative run into the hot lead on the Peltier because the way this is set in here, um, reverse polarity makes the top hot, which is what I want. So it's pulling the, the heat out of this bottom block here. Um, the first fan I had on here it was actually designed for this. Uh, I fried it. I'm not sure exactly what I did, but you know, I got this other fan. It's, it's a little dumber. It only has three leads coming out of it, and so it's just running. I don't have to worry about that. Um, so now I'm going to hook up some thermocouple. So we'll see what the outside temperature is just sitting in here. And um, the, uh, the temperature in the water. And we'll let this run for a while and see if we get a, a noticeable drop in temperature down inside the uh, carboy. All right, so I got a thermocouple in the water, and it's reading 19 degrees Celsius, which is uh, around 66 point something Fahrenheit. So, uh, and unfortunately, in order for me to change this to Fahrenheit readings, I gotta um, hook it up to a computer and reprogram it. So, anyway, it's at 19 Celsius, and the current air temperature is 69. 
So not much of a difference. It's three degree difference, and unfortunately, it's it's actually kind of chilly right now. I was hoping the uh, temperature in the in my garage would be warmer, and I actually just went down a degree. So nice. Um, but we'll see we'll see what the actual temperature in the water gets down to over the next few hours, and maybe what I'll do is change the readings from on this from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So it's been. Um two hours since I put this in and uh, during that time I actually was able to reprogram this to read in Fahrenheit and um, it's gotten um, significantly warmer it's up to 78.5 degrees and the, and the temperature in the room has pretty much been constant I mean it's 68 it was 69 it's a little cooler um, the uh, temperature for the uh, carboy though has gone up almost 14 degrees in the past two hours so uh, it's interesting though because the block is cold to the point where it's got condensation dripping off of it and I raised the uh, assembly up out of the carboy and the first few inches of the copper are uh, cold as well so I'm just going to let this keep going in and I'm hoping that over the next few hours, maybe overnight, there's a transfer of uh, temperature and the water actually starts to get cold.